All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome back to Stick War Legacy. Now, in the previous video, I asked you guys to give me challenges that you think would be fun for videos. We got a ton of really good ideas from only max upgrade one unit of your choice in the campaign to completing a mission and campaign with only archers and also even mixing up the skins so everybody would have a different one. But the one that was the most voted for was this one by Janus Sebula. The Soviets, only miners and guys with swords, comrade. This is basically we have to use the most cannon fodder units in the game. So I'm thinking, you know what? It would be really appropriate to try it on the second to last campaign level, the Ice Hills, because we're going to be fighting the elites. These guys are good. Our guys are cheap fodder units. So I think the first thing we need to do is send them out to attack right off the bat. We built two miners and then two rushers. Now, what we have is we have all leaf skins. So even though we're only going to be using two units, AKA miners, oh, sons of biscuits. Actually, hold on. Scrap that. We'll get a miner. Oh, look at this. So there was an update to the game and it altered. Oh, yeah. It altered the health bars. The health bars look so much better than they used to. All right. So we sent out a rush. We really didn't accomplish much right there. But don't worry. They've got Donald Trump here with jewels on his head and a few spear tins. Don't, don't you think that that haircut? It doesn't it look like Donald Trump's haircut. I don't know. To me, it does. All right, send the boys out. Try to fight outside of the lines and look at how much money I have. We should have been pumping out Sword Wrath because that is the strategy, right? Basically, we're going to overwhelm the enemy. I, I like to think of it as like a Russian charge. You know, the Bura is always where like there's one dude holding that big old red hammer and sickle flag. And then there's just a bunch of freaking Soviet peasants behind him with rifles. One guy's got the rifles, the other one's got five rounds of ammunition and they have to do the thing. What's the thing you ask? Charge the enemy. So here is our Bura. And what I'm gonna do is we're on the first campaign on normal difficulty, then we're gonna be hopping to an ins We're gonna try to beat a tournament, a hard difficulty tournament. All right, send our boys in. And you know what? We'll get some miners for good measure too. We'll get three of them and then we'll start pumping out more sword wrath. So they've got what, five units? Three of which are sword wrath. Look at this, Buddha! <laughs> All right, so this is gonna be interesting. They're gonna be firing arrows. The arrows are gonna take our guys out, what, one to two? But, oh my God, should we try? Oh, here we go. I, I like this new update where basically you can't attack the statue once the last battle happens. Look at all these miners. And basically what that does is it keeps me, someone like me, from just rushing and winning the game. You know, instead of having this glorious final battle, it's like Sauron comes out from behind, you know, uh, the, the Black Gates or Minus Morgul or something like that. And he looks down at the battlefield. He's like, what is that? And he sees a bunch of dudes with Ushankas and Mosin Nagants screaming Russian at him. And I, I, I gotta say, he'd probably be scared. It would be kind of fun to try a miners only challenge. But yes, basically, challenges go like this, guys. Leave your comment of a challenge idea. If it's really good, what I want other people to do is give it a vote. Up like that comment. The most, the most voted for ones get chosen, unless they're just ridiculous. And then, look at this, look at this, man. This is a really good strategy. Okay, well, we're gonna change our skin and we're gonna go to like, you know, a hard difficulty. The Grand Soviet Union will not be defeated. We are invincible, comrade. Invincible. Now what I wanna do is we gotta go to the, not the armory, we actually, yeah, everybody's upgraded fully. So let's go to skins. When you look at the fire skin, it has damage reflect, but damage reflect is gonna be good. And we want everybody to have the same skin because then there's like, a bonus, even though we're not going to use them because this is the Soviet strategy. Let's go ahead and buy a couple of these. We're going to have Katyusha's ready if we need them. Oh, ho, 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 ho. all right. So it's the final battle, the boss fight. Can the Russian conscript strategy brought to us by Commander Zhenosibula be glorious in combat? I think so. All right, so we got fire. Yeah, so our guys aren't as cheap as they used to be. And look at this, our guys don't build as fast. And that might be, oh my God, their guys like camouflage in. Katyusha rocket barrage. Yeah, I mean, he's charging us. Let's see, do any of them hit? Remember, Katyusha's are very inaccurate. All right, we're gonna have to send our guys out there. 
to meet on the plains of battle. All right, let's 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 go ahead and get one behind him because you do, look at that, extra damage when you're attacking from the rear. Yeah. All right, now, all right, retreat. Hit and run, boys. Hit and run. Look at this, man. We've already got our conscripts. Yeah, I mean, one of my favorite things is I, I've noticed in Stick War, uh, early aggression is very good. You know, the Germans got their Blitzkrieg. Um, I guess we got our Bura. Dude, I so the goal here is to try to kill as many miners as possible. Look at that. They've got two miners working. Two Germans standing guard duty on the Western Front. When all of a sudden, Bura! <laughs> You're done, son. Then we pull back. We're just taunting you. Jerry's the German. Where's Hans and Fritz? Where are you? Look, there's Hans and Fritz on guard duty. Boom, boom, boom. Dude, that damage deflects. So whenever... The damage deflect is more for, like, when the giant comes out. Oh, man. That was a really good attack. Basically, when the giant hits us, he's gonna receive some damage. Look at that archer. So they got a German sniper with the car 98. He's out there doing his thing, looking through his little 8x scope, and then he gets stabbed by a Russian bayonet. All right, this is it. We're gonna commit to this. And unfortunately, you can't queue up guys. You just gotta have them die, I guess. Look at that. There's only ever two guards. Hans and Fritz, and they always die. 108 damage. Okay, here it is. So the, the last battle happens. Oh yeah, and we should be queuing up reinforcements. What I do love about Sword Wrath reinforcements is they're fast. They cover the battlefield really quickly. See this guy? He'll be up there soon. I think we should pull back. We should pull back. Everybody pull back. We want we want to have this battle not in front of the statue. Yeah, come come and get it. Come on to this open ground. Come on to no man's land. Plus it gives us a little bit of time to get what looks like appears to be 15 warriors that need to be reconscripted. I like to think of the wizard like with his explosion ability. He's like the Hummel artillery or the Nebelwerfer or something like that. All right, so once the giant, no, 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 no. Dang it, kill that, kill the wizard, kill the wizard, kill the wizard. All right, retreat, Never mind. just kidding. Kill everybody and collect because we need every single guy, but I'm mining their gold. <laughs> Look at this guy, he's like, sup dudes? Add insult to injury. If he makes it back, that's just, that's just a beautiful thing. And there he is again. Hold on, we gotta protect him. Okay, now everybody back. You did your part. Let our miners find their golden piece. That's right, boys. Do your thing. We only have two more soldiers left before we are gonna fight the final boss. All right, and look at that. Our miners got away just in time. Nine, 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 nine. The defenses here are kaput. Hans, where are you? Oh, Fritz, you never saw it coming, did you? Oh, that's all oh my. Oh man, I lost four guys right there? All right, here we go. We did our sword attack. Look at them glowing red. Now watch him just get 18, 18, 18, 18, 18. Actually, that was a lot of 63s too. He's gonna lose a lot of health over time. It, well, it, a little bit, little bits, little bits. It's like death by a thousand cuts right now. Death by 1000 conscripts. And look how the giant keeps trying to move back so the units can't like surround him. All right, retreat, pull back miner, no. My miner. <laughs> Katusha artillery. Oh my god, he's almost dead. We don't even need the Katusha. The fire skin is a really, really effective skin. Now, most of our warriors. Oh my god, actually, hold on. We're gonna need Katushas. I repeat, we need more Katusha rocket artillery fire. Everybody is dead. Katusha, yes! We got him. Look at this. Katusha's just like firing for effect now. So, this was on normal difficulty, mind you. Oh, 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 oh. And then it's like, oh yeah, I forgot, I gotta tap. Tap, 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 Boom. What would that be like? What did we just put in his head? 10 minutes and 35 seconds of glory. All right, so now we're gonna apply the same strategy, but we're gonna alter the skins up. All right, we only upgraded our miners, archer duns, and towers. Oh, wait, wait, I don't need that. Uh, I would imagine, normally if the AI's been given just bucket and bucket and bucket loads of rubles, he will buy the biggest things ever. All right, we might want to pull back and try to draw him out of, out of position a little bit. That'll buy us a little more time. Remember, we can use Katusha rockets and attack. Okay, and we want to get guys behind him because look at that, 108 damage. I guess damage reflect would work pretty good right now, wouldn't it? And then we do the same thing. Get a guy behind him, get some stabs in the back. It's like, it reminds me of the Mines of Moria 
where like the little hobbits are running around stabbing the cave trolls with like their little swords. This is getting deep, yeah. You're gonna lose. Oh look, we had some Donald Trumps coming. One minute and 17 seconds. Okay, this strategy might be a little OP. I, I feel like we always fight Z4 CK. Team start with 14 miners and a ton of gold on the battlefield. This is actually the perfect map. Even if you're not doing a Sword Wrath only strategy, this actually warrants it. It's just a really, really good map to do it. And you immediately send them out to attack. Because look at this, it, it's No Man's Land is filled with all the rubles a simple man from the plains of Siberia could ever want. Oh yeah, we got this one. Oh yeah, let's let's keep following up. We need our guys to bring back that gold, boys. We got a little bit of passive gold. Oh man, the amount of gold we're gonna get right now is gonna be crazy. And look at that, they're sending out their sword rats. We're sending ours out. We took a few, let's see, one, two, three. That looks like five, six. We're counting the bags left and around. Seven, eight miners were taken out, okay. But see, every time we kill a miner, he's not getting them gold and they have to buy another one. It's like classic RTS tactics is you just want to take out the enemy's ability to procure gold. Come on guys, attack the tower. Yes, it was literally a one hit. Boom, a minute 49. Okay, what we're gonna do then since we just won this glorious combat in a tournament is we get the trumpets, I love them. And now we're gonna try it on hard. Looks like, it's, look at this, it's a beautiful Christmas time map. Happy holidays, everybody. Happy freaking holidays. Look at that, they get their night, nice wicker baskets. The way it's woven just, I don't know, for some reason reminds me of um, like Vikings, like Norse mythology kind of looking thing. I don't know, it's really cool looking. Very, I don't know, you gotta appreciate the art, you know? Okay, so we went with the fire skin. So basically we're also damage deflecting too. So they hit us and we hit them back, and like, whenever they hit us, they're damaging themselves. We lost one, though. One man died to a miner's pickaxe. Oh, here we go. A Soviet commissar has entered the battlefield. He is a traitor. So it is treason then. Basically, we captured him. You know that boy's going to the gulag. Oh, look at this. We got the Cupid Spear Tins. All right, so, so far, it's, it's working on the hard difficulty. Oh, that first attack gives them 54 damage. Now they're just doing 21s. Or oh, there's a bunch of twos. That's interesting. The damage drops by a factor of over 10. That's very fascinating. Okay, now we got the final little last incursion, but... Oh, he didn't do a jump animation on the statue, unfortunately. Boom! Oh, we took out the guards! Yes! Next level, another sub-two-minute match. So on this one, the Iron Curtain map, I like to just go all miners at the beginning. Look at that, 150 gold. We'll get, I guess we've got five, so we'll have seven. I think seven's the magic number. Let's see, what do they got? Yeah, they're doing the classic three clubmen with like, you know, little uh? teeth. It looks like there's teeth on the clubs, doesn't it? I mean, that's probably what it is. Let's be honest. Oh man, we're about to break through and these guys don't know what's about to hit them in the face with a sledgehammer. Archers aren't very good against lava skins, especially lava spiritons due to the damage deflect. And boom, just like that. I love being able to see the numbers to have a better understanding. Wow, that's a lot of clubbers. On to the next round. Team start with a small amount of gold. Okay, this is the classic mode, okay. All right, so what I'm doing, my build order is basically gonna be a rush. I'm gonna get two sword wrath. I'm, I'm gonna get them right out at the beginning and I'm gonna send them over. And boom, there's the second one. Okay, so once he's over, boom, attack, attack, attack. And then we'll follow up with two more and then we'll go back to some more miners. But this should kill their soldier pretty well, pretty easy. Maybe even get a miner or two? Nope. All right, here we are again. I want to get a miner. Oh, they've got they've got an archer back there just chilling. Okay, our guys are expendable. They're Soviet conscripts. <laughs> These are not the Red Guard. Don't worry. There we go. Oh, one miner was on one hit left. We lost a decent amount of men. Okay, this one I'm thinking is going to be more of a three-minute match. It's a little bit trickier. How big is the attacking force? It looks like we've got seven soldiers. They've got two. And every time they hit us, they get hurt. You see the theme here? Glorious. All right, at this point, I think it's safe to commit to the attack. I think we've got enough to withstand their army and their archer attack. Oh, style for miles, uh-oh. Oh, and unfortunately the defenders back there, I don't think they get damage deflect. Yes! 
It's amazing how many updates have been happening for this game. And it was released, what was it, 2016, was it? Oh, 2 minutes 24. It's slowly creeping up, but we're still doing pretty good. You're gifted gold every 60 seconds with insta-build. Ugh. I guess we're just gonna have to flood the battlefield. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We know what we got. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my god. Two giants and wizards? This is gonna be so bad. But remember, damage deflect. It's okay. Look at them. Losing damage. Every time you see the orange numbers, that's damage going back to the giants, the sword wrath, whatever it is they're deciding to use. And we're just flooding the battlefield. We're gonna lose a lot of guys though. Katyusha rockets! Maybe if we could get a lucky hit on the wizard. Ooh, he's is he healing? The wizard is healing. Last gold gift coming in one minute. Okay, all right. So we're gonna we're gonna gather all our boys up right now. Katusha rockets and Buddha. This is the final charge, man. We gotta do it. We gotta do it for our people, our country. Oh man, we gotta protect these miners. Katusha rocket artillery. And then when you do the bura, look at that bura. There we go. That's the bura. Everybody's like glowing red with just glorious love for their country. Even though we're trying to make the other man die for his country, some of us need to die. And by some of us, I mean I ain't on that battlefield. <laughs> uh oh, I forgot that. That's all right. Oh, they do have it. Look, listen to that. Yeah. We just need the sound effect file to go Uh oh He's got, look at this, he's got the Death Star lasers coming out the eyes of the statue, I love this one It's such a cool one, especially the first time you encounter it But It doesn't matter, we can repel firepower of that magnitude How? With Soviet conscripts <laughs> Boom, baby! We did it! Alright, so thank you for submitting your challenges uh, this one was like really really cool and we got a couple more so leave yours behind uh, Or behind in, in the comments below if you see one you like give it an upvote So it's more than likely to be chosen and I think in the next video when we do this We're gonna do a couple different challenges. Thank you guys for watching another episode of stick war legacy over here on Bremont games And I'll see you guys in the next video